Redshift, a term used in astronomy signifying a source of light moving away from an observer. When a star or other object moves away from us, it shifts to the red side of the spectrum and appears red to our eyes. Alta selected an apt name for this bike as it undoubtedly represents the shift in thinking away from the gas-powered engine to the benefits of electricity. Before we get into this update on the Alta Redshift, I want to thank some people who have recently purchased our new Joe Rockstar gear. Ooh, that was brutal. Well, if you haven't seen my previous review of the Alta Redshift, go check it out. If you have, then you already know I really like this bike, but I have some reservations about it. Some viewers seem confused by my opinion that the bike is not for the everyday rider. This was based on cost and the relatively short battery life. At the time, the bike was retailing around 15 grand, and the battery life was a depressing one to one and a half hours if you took it easy in map one. While Alta has started to make their bike a lot more attractive. First, let's look at the price. As of the making of this video, the 2018 model can be found for under $11,000. And leftover 2017 models can be had for less than $10,000. That's a huge drop in price. And now that the price is reaching a more reasonable point, my only concern is the battery life and charging time. And we'll get to that in a minute. At the Rough Rider 100 race in Prescott Valley last month, AEO Power Sports brought several red shifts from their two locations in the Phoenix area up to the race venue for the public to try out. I was not going to pass up a chance to test the bike out on some single track and talk to some of the riders that had an opportunity to try it out. So what, are you, what about it? What did you think about the Alta red shift? Dude, it's freaking awesome. Trail. Yeah? I gotta say, in two turns, I was already used to it, 100%. And then I and then I didn't want to do just two laps, I wanted to do like 50. Coming out of corners, it's instantly accelerates as fast as you want. Like, there's no messing with the clutch, there's no lag, there's no there's power There's a connection from issues. your right hand to the back wheel. Yeah, it's like, just connect. like that. As soon as you roll into it, it just translates into forward momentum. I was on map two, and that was, I could easily have won the race yesterday on map two. It's kind of like a no lag, no lag, plenty of power with a recluse. Yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't stall in the corners. Yeah. You don't have to shift it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no pulling the clutch in coming into corners when you're locked in. I, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> An Alta representative was present and addressed some of my concerns about the battery. And the website claims that the new battery on the 2018 MXR version runs cooler, which is increasing its range, while the new rapid charger release last month reduces charge time to about one and a half hours. There are also rumors that Alta has developed a charger that can charge the battery in 45 minutes. And while neither the Alta representative nor AEO Power Sports would confirm it, Alta's website boasts a four hour range for quote, expert single track woods, one hour backyard motos, and 25 minutes for expert level motocross heat races. If this four hour claim for single track and woods is true, then it's a huge step in the right direction. Now keep in mind these are marketing claims by the manufacturer that were most likely tested in the most ideal conditions. For instance, I have a drone that's advertised to have a 25 minute battery life, but the reality is it's more like eight minutes. Now battery life is very much affected by how well they are cared for, stored, and the number of charging cycles. So it's very possible that if taken care of well, this bike will perform as advertised. In addition, the major maintenance interval advertises 1,000 hours. At the current rate that I ride my bike, which is a lot, that would be about 12 years. If the 2018 MXR model lives up to these claims, I will have to change my position. If I had the means, I would buy one, and then I'd be able to speak from a better and more experienced position. But for now, I'm gonna to have to rely on the reports of owners in the field. Another source of tension with my last review of the Redshift was based on my remarks about the bike's practicality with regard to protecting the environment. Come on, Joe! I'm following you! Oh, you cheater! Cheater! Hey, you, you see me trying to downshift? <laughs> it's not a matter of whether I think the bike is saving the future of the planet. It matters what the people in a position to buy the bike think. Whatever the intentions, going green, reducing noise, or simply exploiting the electric motor performance, the Alta Redshift is impressive and a blast. Oh, 
coming for you. <laughs> this thing's so fun. Ah, I fell over. If Alta proves to the general public that first and foremost the bike is a capable and incredibly fun off-road bike and a serious contender to the traditional gas-powered monsters that we all know and love, then I believe that people will be more likely to buy them. And if that in some way reduces any negative effects on the environment, then I'm all for it. Oh, did he crash? <laughs> did you go down? Oh, so hard. you were supposed to film me. All right, I'll follow you. Right. It is my opinion that in the eyes of riders like me, the bike's ability and performance will motivate the sale long before the environmental aspect. And I think Alta is very much aware of this. And they have guys like me ready to fall off the fence onto the lot of an Alta dealership. Thanks. Oh, dirt in my eyes. Whoa. I didn't go down. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I'm still up. I'm still up. Now I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this, and I hope to hear something back from the actual owners of the Red Ship. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And as always, we're always looking for financial support through Patreon. Patreon supporters get early access to videos, discounted Joe Rockstar gear, and have the opportunity to get their name on the bike. And they're automatically entered in any giveaways that we have. Pledge as little as a dollar a month. It would mean the world to me. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.